Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So I hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Guys, before getting into this video, so please watch the video till the end and please like the video so that our videos will appear in suggestions for other, other students also. So definitely like the video guys and please subscribe our channel and share our video within your WhatsApp groups, WhatsApp college groups so that it will reach to other students also and they will also get benefited like you. So this is week 3 assignment of the course introduction to IOT. So guys I hope most of these uh, solutions are 100% correct. So if there are any changes to be made please bring it to my notice but I hope of almost all of the solutions are correct. So first question guys. First one. State whether the following statement is true or false. So for first question, uh, they have given a statement. So the statement is, there is no network layer in wide heart. So is this statement true or false? So the statement is absolutely true guys. It is true. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the second question. The second one. So guys for the past five years we have been providing the solutions for various NPTEL courses. So with that high accuracy we are providing the solutions guys. So please share our videos and subscribe our channel so that our channel will be helpful for other students like you and they will also get benefited and definitely like the video click on the like button so that it will appear in suggestions for other students guys second question heart operates only in what gigahertz ism band so what is that uh, frequency band so for second question the answer is option a 2.4 2.4 so mark option A now let's move on to the third question guys third one third question super frames in heart consists of grouped dash wide time slots so what is that uh, time guys? What is the time slot period? So it is option A 10 ms 10 milliseconds. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the fourth question. So before getting into this fourth question. So we are going to uh, provide you guys so for introduction of IOT course so we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys 300 huge number of MCQs which is more than two years of NPTEL MCQs right which will be helpful for you in the preparation of final exams so for the past two years also we are providing so we have got very good review feedback from the students who have taken our pack and got more than 70 to 80 percent for most of the students so you'll get a google drive pdf restricted link guys so that you can view all the mcqs huge number of 300 mcqs we are going to provide so last time we have provided for 500 rupees even for one person also but now in order to reduce burden on students for 300 mcqs we are providing for one person 300 rupees only for each bit it will be just one rupee only guys so for each person it will be 300 rupees if you are taking groups that means from two to five persons it will be just 500 rupees only guys so that for e on each person the burden will be reduced and everyone will be able to take our pack so that's that's why we have decided to reduce the price so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys now so already many students have taken our pack and got benefited and now for this season many students are going to take this pack and already they have taken the pack and got very much satisfied and get prepared for the final exam guys. So 
take it now itself so that you will get more time to prepare from now so this is the email id you have to mail me if you want to purchase guys so then i will tell you the process of how to purchase that so with five years of nptl experience we are going to provide these solutions guys so i will give the same email in the description box as well as in the comment section so don't forget to message me guys so please message me only if you want to buy guys for any other doubts you can directly ask me in the youtube comment section only if you have the thought of purchasing the pdf pack you can message me to this email id and the next one is so we have providing youtube memberships guys so for each subject there will be 100 plus mcqs only but the price is only 89 rupees guys it is youtube video so it is in video format not pdf so for one month and for one person it is 89 rupees guys so if you want to purchase the 89 per 89 rupee videos no need to message me guys you can directly go to our youtube channel page so you can type s kumar edu in the search box and this there is join button right so click on this join button and select 89 Hello, per guys. month back here and click on join button and make payment guys that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these members only videos guys all these videos not only one subject for that 89 rupees only you are getting all the videos so already many students have joined our channel guys so you can see here so but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec because almost all the syllabus is covered in this 300 mcq spec because you are because you are covering more number of mcqs 300 huge number of mcqs for you are getting for just 300 rupees only if you are one person and if you take for two to five percent combinedly even though individual price will be reduced 500 rupees only so already many students have taken our pack and got benefited guys and ho i hope you will be doing the same almost every student taken our pack so it's your choice whether to join the youtube membership for 89 rupee video format for 100 plus mcqs or you want to get complete syllabus for 300 mcqs guys my sub my suggestion is it's better to take 300 mcqs pack you will get a pdf google drive link so that you can easily watch all the questions by scrolling pages so that's it guys now let's get back to the questions so fourth question the process of identifying channels consistently affected by interference and removing them from use is known as what so for fourth question the answer is option d channel blacklisting channel black listing so mark option d now let's move on to the fifth question fifth one state whether the following statement is true or false so they have given the statement each node is supervised by the application manager and it guides them on when and where to send packets so is this statement true or false guys so the statement is absolutely false so it is uh, it is not supervised by the application manager it is network manager right so they have given application manager so it is false statement so mark option b guys so guys we have been providing the solutions with utmost accuracy so with that same accuracy we will provide the 100% syllabus so nptl syllabus oriented mcqs guys you'll getting huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs for just for one person 300 rupees only and if you are two to five percent even more you can reduce individual price so sixth question now felica is commonly found in which country so for sixth question the answer is option a guys it is found in japan felica is found in japan now let's move on to the seventh question seventh one state whether the following state is statement is true or false so the statement is nfc tax found in supermarket products 
are examples of passive NFC. Is that true or false? So for seventh question, the answer is option A, true guys. It is true. Now let's move on to the eighth question. Eighth one. Active NFC devices are able to do what? So the active NFCs can do trans uh, can transmit the information as well as collect the information. So the answer is option C, both A and B. Both A and B. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the ninth question, guys. Ninth one, a dash in NFC emits a small electric current which creates a magnetic field that in turn bridges the physical space between the devices. So for ninth question, the answer is option A, reader. Option A, reader guys. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the 10th question. 10th one. Bluetooth technology is based on what? So the Bluetooth technology is based on option C, ad hoc technology. It is based on ad hoc technology. So mark option C guys. Next, 11th one. 11th one, Bluetooth technology operates in the unlicensed industrial, scientific and medical band at dash to dash gigahertz. So for 11th question, the answer is option B, 2.42, 2 2.485 gigahertz. So mark option B guys. Option B. Now moving on to the 12th question. 12th one. Z wave operates at what frequency in the US and with what frequency in Europe? So for 12th question, so the Z wave operates at 908.42 megahertz in US and 868.42 in Europe, right? So option B is the correct answer, guys. So mark option B, guys. Now moving on to the 13th question. 13th one, state whether the following statement is true or false. So the, what is the statement guys? Sensor nodes have limited battery life. So is the statement true or false? Sensor nodes have limited battery life. So it is absolutely true guys. It is absolutely true. So mark option A. Now, moving on to the 14th question. So guys, before moving into this question, I want to once again make you remember. So we are pre providing you a huge number of 300 MCQs guys in a Google Drive PDF. So for one person, it is just 300 rupees only guys. If you take combinedly with your classmates, two to five persons, it will be just 500 rupees combinedly guys. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we are providing these solutions. So this is the email ID you have to mail me for. So I'll give the pay how to uh, make the pay payment procedure. So uh, if you want to purchase, then only message me guys to this email ID for any other queries. You can ask me in the comment section itself. And if you want to get 89 rupee video format MCQs for one month and for one person, 
you can directly go and join our YouTube membership guys. You'll get only 100 plus MCQs here but for the price 89 rupees only. And it is for one month and one person. And if you want this huge number of 300 exam oriented preparation MCQs, you can directly message me to this email ID guys. So already many students have taken our pack and started preparing also guys. So do it from now itself so that you'll get a lot of time to prepare even before the weeks completed 12 weeks completed also so hurry up guys prepare from now itself and get more time to prepare for the final exam now let's get back to the solutions so 14th question state whether the following statement is true or false so what is the statement guys the link manager protocol in bluetooth manages the establishment authentication and link configuration so the answer is probably option a guys And moving on to the final question that is 15th one. Zigbee commonly uses dash data rate. So for 15th question the answer is option A yeah guys 250 kbps 250 kbps. So mark option A. Yeah. So friends these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of iot course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates guys through whatsapp student groups so that it will be beneficial for them also and they will also get benefited like you and in order to get 100 percent exam oriented preparation mcqs you'll, you are getting here 300 huge number of mcqs guys no one is providing these many number of mcqs only our channel is exclusively providing these guys so for 300 mcq pdf for one person it will be 300 rupees guys and for two to five person combinedly it will be 500 so plan accordingly with your friends to get best benefit guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for I will give the same email in the description box, box as well as in the comment section. And if you want to join YouTube membership for 100 plus MCQs for just 89 rupees in video format, you can join our channel guys and you will get members only videos directly. So that's it guys for this video. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share that with your friends guys. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.